Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon and this is Evil Genius 2. Am I sulfur voice Pyro? I thought my voice would have been warmed up by now. In the last episode, I made a critical error. What? Here, just hold on. Wait, capture, capture. Anyway. Oh my god, wait, what? What is happening? Oh, the explosion was probably a... Alright, hold on. Where... Whatever, I'm sure that problem will resolve itself. So in the last episode, I made a massive mistake, which is fully logical after I made it, um, and I have screwed myself on the world stage. So our current objective is that we are going to be upgrading all of our regions to level 3 and trying to dissipate the heat that is coming from all of them. We need money, we need time, these things are not going to happen instantly, and so there's going to be a lot of time skips on this one while I try to get myself reorganized. So, just as a quick recap, in case you didn't see the last episode, I decided to pull completely out of the world because I was experimenting on getting some trap achievements, but in the process, I completely forgot for some reason that I was getting passive money. So now I'm getting no money, and we're having to pay salaries, which I can no longer afford. So a lot of minions are deserting at this point, and it's not good. It's going to take me a hot minute to get reorganized, and I'm going to... What the fuck? Come on, man. Get your garbage out of here. And I'm going to have to start, unfortunately, basically work only with yellow shirts for the short term until I manage to get everything... A minion has caught fire. Alright, so let's go here. Okay, so even though this central area is going to be really hot, as long as... As long as the machines themselves are not melting, it's fine. And they, again, they reduced the penalty for having a melting object anyway, so it should be all right. Anyway, we're going to try to get back into the world stage in every region at level three before continuing. The downside to doing this is that I'm going to need a lot more other deception minions. The whole reason I like level two, as you can see here, for example, is the heat kill mission of level two. It requires valets. But the heat kill mission of level 3s usually require, like, spin doctors, as you can see here. So, there is a trade-off by upgrading. You get more money, but the demands to run the missions are higher. However, the missions are longer, with this mission being two hours long, versus this one, which is only, uh, an hour and a half long, I believe? Probably? Probably. So, anyway, all I have to do is recover. It's not going to be difficult, it's just going to be annoying. And I'm going to be doing that off camera in a time skip so you all don't get bored out of your mind. So, yeah, this is what's happening. At least I got all of the achievements I wanted, so we shouldn't have any more distractions. And I double-checked the achievements list. There are no more achievements I can get in this run. So at this point, well, I take that back. We, we need the loot and henchman achievements, but we're going for those anyway. There's no specifically polar achievement. So once I recover, we'll be back on the road to doing what we need to do. It's just going to take me a moment. And because upgrading requires intel, and we don't have intel, or at least not a lot... We're going to switch a few things around and make this a military-industrial complex. Instead, I'm going to kind of do that to simplify things. Um, so, we'll even capture... Like, we'll capture anybody. If you exist, we're going to capture you. As long as I don't run afoul of the super agents, it'll be... It'll be fine. But we want to capture people like this jerk and interrogate them so we can get some intel out of it. And now, because we're crippled, I actually have to care about the super agents. So here's Foxworth in Northern Africa, 
and I really want to do this mission to get some money, but I can't deal with a parasite right now, so I'm going to have to go the other way and keep doing heat-killing missions as best as I can in every region. If I have the chance to get money, I'll take it. But I don't see any money missions as yet. It, they'll and probably come as I spread strong. across Anvil, and by working one region at a time, I can minimize the chance a super agent gets involved. Oh, and there's the captures that are working out for me. These guys I might brainwash so I get some more... <laughs> I might brainwash so I can get some more... Uh, minions, but, well, maybe not. We seem to have a handle on it. Soldiers don't give much intel, but I guess anything's better than zero. Seven intel for a soldier? Was that a change? I don't remember soldiers ever giving that much intel. I didn't usually do the prison industrial complex thing in Evil Genius runs, so... I, I don't I don't know if that's a thing that's always been true. Um, hmm. I'm gonna take advantage of it now, though, for sure. I have never had the prison system in this game work this efficiently, but I've never tried before. The amount of intel I'm getting from doing this is so high that I basically don't need the intel generation machines anymore. I never realized it was that good. And I am using the brainwashing on the soldiers, because the way I figure it, I could use a little extra help, and even if they leave immediately, that's fine. Because then I don't have to pay <laughs> Like, none of these... All of my advanced minions are upset, and that's fine. We just have a really high turnover right now. We're basically McDonald's or Walmart, where we're getting employees about as fast as we're losing them. The and by being aggressive on the world stage, even if we have, for example, a bunch of spin doctors who are unhappy with me, if I immediately send them out into the world, then they die or just go away, and then it doesn't matter that they're unhappy or unpaid. As long as they're out of the base, at least they're not stealing from me. You can't afford to pay all of your minions. Yeah, exactly. So, sure, I can't afford to pay all my minions. However, that's fine, because we're too busy sending them out to the world stage to get some cash or whatever. An agent has been captured. The only problem is we are losing more minions than we are gaining, so what I will probably have to do is when I hit about a hundred thousand, no matter what, I need to just drop a shitload of money on getting yellow shirts. They are very good quality, but we just need to keep the employee turnover rate churning, because at this pace, I will eventually lose more minions than I am getting, and eventually I will lose by attrition. But all I have to do is drop 40 grand into getting some yellow shirts, An agent has been and now I'm back up to 223 just like that. So I, as long as I keep this up, I can recover. I'm working slowly enough that I should be all right. Like with this northern thing, it's going to shut down because of Bola. That's fine. I don't have to worry about it. We just need to currently focus on upgrading every network that I've got to a level three. Really, we should go to level four, but I, I don't have the... Um, uh, the broadcast power to go that extreme right now. Um, so this should, this should be fine. I just need to keep this up. Our jails are now overloaded, so I'm going to switch this back over to how I had it. This will be the kill zone. I really, just to simplify it, I don't really need anything but this now. Um, and then over here we'll do the auto tag for distract. I really should do something about this. This has been not a good experiment. The Flame of Prometheus. It causes too much disruption. So we're going to move the flame. Oh, man, I don't know where... Oh, oh, here's a good idea. All right, so carrion flower. We're going to move you over here. Never mind. We're going to move you over here. Never mind. We're going to move you over here. 
Go, go somewhere. Okay, just to get you out of the way. All right, so Flame of Prometheus, you come over here. This is a better location for you because I don't think the subs can burn. The stairs can't burn. The furnace might be able to burn, ironically, but... Uh, let's try it anyway. I might move the flame upstairs because there's so much room up here that even when sym sy symmetry shows up, as she is doing here... You know what? I'm not even gonna... Fuck talking about it. I'm just gonna do it because, um... Not enough gold to complete this construction. That's fine. So... Because if I put the fire trap, like, here, then... I don't... I don't think this would set anything else on fire. I don't think that would set my vaults on fire. So... That should be f good enough. Alright, one more in... Let's see... Then we go in three from that side, right? Yes, okay. Because the stairs can't be set on fire. The only thing is if they walk, maybe if they walk here, it might set this or this on fire maybe, but let's give it a try and see what happens. Um, Because the kill box is fine. I just need to get the Flame of Prometheus out of there. Because out, out of where it is by the casino, because it's causing me more harm than good at this point. Um, and instead what I'll do in that corner... Oh, yeah, let's slowly work on that some more. Um, what I'll do off the casino floor... Once this gets moved out of the way, I'll probably put like a shark tank down there, just... Something that isn't setting half of my casino on fire <laughs> is the point. An agent and even with a crippled staff, the kill box still perfectly works. Ooh, those freezy turrets are good! Wow, that is a significant disruption to them, and they can't fire back. Very good for my missile launchers and gun-toting mercenaries. Awesome. Okay. And that valet or whoever is dying because they're... Okay, I was going to set him for capture, but never mind. Yeah, our, our jails are overloaded. I, I kind of need to take care of this. I see a flaw in my strategy that I will adjust. Whenever I have set the number of training gadgets and the number of minions, I've only gone off of one number. It's static, it's never dynamic. So here, because I'm upgrading all of my regions to level three, I need more spin doctors than valets. I still need a lot of valets because the valets become spin doctors. But having only four Spin Doctor training gadgets, and even further having a cap of, what is it, ten? That's just not going to be enough. And right now, even though setting this target amount really high sounds bad, because of the money it would cost, 67000 every ten minutes, we're not ever going to have... 30 spin doctors because we're going to constantly send them out in the world and then we don't have to pay them anymore. I just want to make sure we have plenty of spin doctors coming in and being churned through the um, the training process. That way they are ready to go out into the world as soon as I need them. Because we're going to need a ton. I need three per region for a heat kill like this. And then, even for upgrading to level 3, I believe I need 1. So, this is going to take me a moment. Um, but at least we've gotten Asia, Africa, and Australia. I would say because Agent X is the next weakest super agent, we should probably hit Patriot. 
Okay, checking in for another quick update. We now have all of Patriot at level 3. I can't go to level 4 because I need the two final minion types I don't have unlocked yet, and that's okay. We are making almost enough money just from these three regions passively that I'm able to pay all my minions. Almost. Almost. I'm going to need a little bit more. So the next weakest super agent is the Blue Saint. So we'll start hitting Central and South America next. And then that should get us profitable again. And we can start pushing hard toward our side quest and our main quest. But before I do that, I need to get more... Ugh, I need to do more broadcast power, and before I do that, I will need more power. Wait, no, my power is good. Okay. So I do need to spread these out a little bit more. Let's see if they can handle the temperatures if they are four apart. Big lesson I'm having to learn from this is to not force missions that aren't there. This region here, uh, Eastern Saber, there's no way I can kill Heat here because the mission hasn't spawned in, and Foxworth is in the area, so I shouldn't do money missions. So doing nothing is the best play. It's difficult for me to do that. I tend to have a FOMO when it comes to notifications, as I mentioned in a previous episode. So here, where I'm seeing two outstanding regions in the world, I, I just feel the need to clear those by activating something, and I need to stop myself. There is no strategic advantage to getting into Eastern Saber right now. So even though the notification isn't going away, I need to just ignore it. Now, on these other ones, like here, we definitely need to refresh the heat kill. Um, and we are working our way south of the United States. Slowly. But... If there's no mission there for strategic purposes, I need to ignore it and just try to ignore that notification that's going to bother the hell out of me the more I see it. Orders have been given to get to level 3 for the final smash area, so now we are going into Europe and, well, Europe for getting the rest of our areas. So far, so good. We've got plenty of money coming in, even though I'm not running any money missions. And as long as I sort of stay on top of things and try to minimize the number of idle regions, we should be all right. Um, still trying to ignore those notifications if there's no mission. But if there is a mission, should be all right. I also reduced my numbers of spinnies down to... 20. Yeah, I was going to say. I was looking at valets. So 20 spinnies should be enough. There should always be enough on call, ready to go back out into the world. I think just having seven trainers has been the big difference. Seven trainers is a bit high because we probably aren't going to be in a position where we need to train seven, actually eight at a time. But if I ever do have to send a lot of uh, spinnies to the world stage, it won't take long to get them recovered. The downside is our power draw, and I have been having to go a little bit heavier with our power generation as a result. Oops. I thought I screwed something up on that. Oh, I just need to break those walls. Uh, there we go. Um, so, and then this is, again, one of the rare times where I have actually needed to worry about the temperature output because of just how damn hot these power generators get, but chilly and warm is fine. As long as it's within those three temperatures in the middle, which is chilly. See, this one's cold. That one's a little too much. Um, trying to nail the design for these, I guess. What if we move this one here? Get rid of this one. Get rid of this one and move this one here. And alternate it. Two, one, two, one. And then maybe with a little, a few more adjustments about which air conditioner is putting off which strength, that hopefully should be good enough. But it's, it's not as delicate of a procedure or even as important of a procedure as the game wants to pretend it is. Oh, wait a minute. Why are some of my power machines actually animated? 
and some of them are not. I'm even more confused now with the graphical issues. That was a weird bug I must have triggered. Oh, anyway, what I was saying was, as long as the temperature of the objects are either chilly, neutral, or warm, that's good enough for me. So of these upper ones, they are all warm, except this one, which is ideal. And then down here, yeah, they're all warm. So that's, that's good enough, because our people aren't going to be up there very long anyway if they need to do any maintenance on them. So that should be good enough. And we'll just keep spreading this power room out in all directions. This will be our power room floor. I, I guess eventually it'd be nice to shut down this power room and this power room entirely. We can start moving all generators up here, but I'm not overly concerned about it. It's working now and I don't need the room. I don't, I don't need to convert this power room into anything else yet, so it's probably good enough. I'm also slowly converting the control room over to the advanced radio repeaters. And you may notice there's no more intel gathering machines down here. And that's because since I segregate my classes of minions, we've moved them up here. So now the biologists have something to do if they have nothing better to do. <laughs> and the intel machines are up here, where the scientists are anyway. Now, could I or should I have the machines that require the scientists instead to augment it? Sure, maybe, but as usual with the way I play this game and all games, I don't care because I don't need them because we're already at 99 intel, and if I am ever desperate for intel again, I'll just do what I did at the top of this episode, switch everything over to capture, and just interrogate my way to being smart. So you need to... In all things, but especially Evil Genius, you want to work smarter, not harder. You don't necessarily need to spend a billion dollars if you don't need to, provided you have all your bases covered. And right now, I've got all my bases covered. Although it's taken me over an hour and a half, it really hasn't felt that long. Very curious. But we've got every region now up to level three. We still have six broadcast power in reserve. Plenty of power in reserve. And I can still expand the rooms as necessary. The control room can be expanded out both this way and slightly this way. And the power room a trap has, been triggered. has a lot of space up here to begin with. So, oh, if you ever see one of these, it's because things are so cold over here, like with this one. I needed to turn this off entirely, because if I turn it on, suddenly the fusion generator becomes cold. And it takes a little bit of extra damage. I don't know what's going on. I can't quite figure out why certain areas of the base are just automatically colder or hotter. It, it's a little confusing. But anyway, we are nice and truly recovered. Plenty of money. We are good to go. So we just need to complete two more art heists on the world stage in order to get the attention of Clara Jones, I believe. Yes, Clara Jones. That's, that's what's going on. So, meanwhile, again, I'm just running missions to kill the heat if it's available, or do nothing if it's not. And we're good so far, let's grab this. And then after that, we only need one more art heist. I suppose I can grab it here. And soon, we're gonna have ourselves a cutscene. You stole my paintings. I hate playing against cheats. You again? You don't seem upset. Oh, it's no bother. The trackers on my paintings have told me exactly where you put them. I think you'll find it won't be so easy to get them. Ah, but I don't have to get them. I just have to offer a price to those who will. Defeat rogues in the lair. If you lose your portraits, you'll lose face. Prove that you control the art world and that no one can mess with you. By defending your art from rogues, if you lose any, you can buy them back. I probably don't have to do anything because, as usual, as soon as they walk into the kill box, they're like these guys, they're gonna <laughs> have a really bad time. Whatever the graphical bug did, it seems once I refresh the item by like moving it and then moving it back, it seems to fix itself. Because now we have our orange portal alive. And so here we are on the top floor, or I guess floor three. I, wow, not the top floor. Holy crap. Um, 
So, we're on the power floor, but I've decided to tactically make use of the portals for ones. So, the orange one is still here, but then the blue one is still down here. See, this one isn't right, but what if I move it? Maybe? Hopefully that works. So, the reason I'm putting the portals there is just for a shortcut, so if anyone needs to get up to the power room, they don't have to walk half a freaking mile. See, now it's fine. I'm so confused. Anyway, if anyone needs to get up there, they can just walk through the portal and teleport two floors up instead of having to take the stairs, especially because it's not the same staircase that goes all the way up. I want to fix that as well as we get a little bit deeper. And you can see I've been starting to push the power, or rather the control room, this way. Which is giving me a little bit more room to work with. Especially now that I'm getting rid of some of the power generators that I don't need anymore. Very helpful. Um, the next one I want to do, in fact... No, I guess it's not necessary yet. Never mind. We have 300 spare power. I probably don't need it. Um... Actually, I know I don't need it. You know what? Let's go ahead and take a few of these out. As long as I have about 100 power to spare, that's going to be good enough. And I can slowly, like I said, start to transition all of our power generators upstairs. Not only to protect them better, but so we have fewer of them. And then our techies don't have to spend so much time fixing shit. Meanwhile, the defeat rogues in the lair is still stuck at three, which has been concerning. So, we're just gonna do a little of this. And then we're gonna get everybody over here. And then we'll just wipe out the base. Hell, let's just clear it. I thought if I had distracted them enough and they would have left, that would have counted. But apparently not, so... We'll just go ahead and get violent in this situation, and... Yeah, now the count is starting to go up. Our casino was too effective. We were able to just keep everybody at bay without any problems. You have driven off this new rival for now. Keep an eye out as though they will surely return. Just let me have my paintings. You're not even looking at them. They are not your paintings. They never were. Just accept that you are no match for me. <laughs> I'll have my next big score in my hands before you even know which way I'm headed. I will know which way you are headed, all right. Minions, tell me which way she is headed. <laughs> <laughs> to catch 40 thieves. This is new. Rogues are robbing you of the gold you stole fair and square. You need a deterrent, like, say, the fabled Arabian jars, which are reputed to keep their contents safe from any thief. Hmm, I don't know of that story. I should look it up. Explain to me why we are bleeding money before I feed you to my sharks. It's not a productivity problem. It's attrition. The thieves are helping themselves to our gains. Oh, I should double my security and also feed you to my sharks. I guess they didn't have them record that line. But instead, I will give you a chance to make it up to me. There is a gang of thieves whose vault is theft proof. Find their secret, then steal it for me. And if you fail, the sharks will be waiting. Capture some of the errant rogues and find out where you got the idea that you would... Where they got the idea that you would be easy to steal from. And of course, find out where gold is hidden. Alright, so we will approach that story in the next episode because I'm out of time for this one. This took almost two and a half hours to record. But now that the recovery process is complete, at least from my end, I should be able to fly perfectly fine here. So after, well... I'll talk about my plans in the next one, because I'm out of time, as I just said. So thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode. <laughs>